Hey there, and welcome back to Coding with Soham Jain. In today's tutorial, we'll be building an Expo React Native app for recording and playing back audio. I've created a blank project, and I have an iOS simulator open to the right so that we can visualize the project. I'm going to start by splitting the terminal, and we can also make the screen bigger by doing that. So inside of this terminal, the only thing that we need to import is expo install and then expo hyphen av and once this is done installing we can add an import to the top since so since i've already installed it it's going to show this message but it may be different for you after that you can delete that and add in the import import audio from expo av We've already imported the style sheet, text, and view above, but we can also import button over here since we're going to use that later on in our project. And inside of our app, before the return statement, we can create some constants for recording. So here I'm going to add a const recording and set recording. And here we'll use the react.use state just to set it to a default value. And we can copy this same thing and use it for the list of all recordings that we're going to have. So instead of calling it recording, we can just call it recordings. And we don't want it to be an empty variable. Instead, we want it to be an empty array. So I'll just add some brackets in over here. Next, we're going to need a couple of methods. And again, I'll add it before the return statement. But we first need async function start recording. And we also need async function to stop recording. We'll also need to get the duration so that we can display that for our recording. So I'll add a function get duration formatted with the number of milliseconds as the parameter. And we can add some brackets. We'll also need a function to get the recording lines. And our last function is going to be to clear the recordings. So I'll add that in as well. For now, I'll leave these functions blank. And we can move on to formatting our return over here. So instead of having this text over here, we can instead add a button, which is why we imported that before. So here we can have button title equals. And then we'll have these brackets. And inside of this, we want a lambda expression. So if recording is true, we want to display the text that says stop recording. Otherwise, we'll just show the start recording text because that means that our recording hasn't even been started yet. We'll also need an on press, and we'll have another lambda expression in here for recording. And if it's if it's already recording, then we're gonna need to have the stop recording function. Otherwise, we'll have the start recording function. So that's good for our first button over here. But after this button, we can add our get recording lines. So I'll add an enter and in brackets, get recording lines. This way, after we're done clicking record and stop record, it'll show all of our recordings in order. And after that, we can add another button in. So I'll add over here button title equals and we're going to need another lambda expression but this time i'm going to be checking if the length of all of the recordings is greater than zero so here if i'll do recordings out length it's greater than zero and if that's true then i want to add text that says clear recordings otherwise i'll just have some empty text over here and on press i want it to do the clear recordings function and that's it for this button. So now that we've finished our actual front end return statement, we can begin by filling in each of these functions. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through the step, but you can pause and follow along if you want.
Now that we're finished coding each of our methods, I'll explain what each of them do, but you can skip ahead in this video to see the styling and final product. Let's go back up to start recording. So over here, we just checked for the permissions and used audio from our Expo AV that we installed before to record from the microphone once the permissions were given. And over here in stop recording, we reset our recording variable and pushed the final recording to our complete list. And this list was then updated and displayed after the recording was stopped. Our next method is get duration formatted. And here we got the number of minutes and seconds, but for seconds less than 10, we just added a zero over here in the front for formatting purposes. In get recording lines, which is our next method, we displayed each of the lines that shows up after a recording is stopped, which includes the recording number, its duration, and a play button so we can listen back to it. And lastly, our clear recordings method sets our recording variable to an empty array. And you may notice that we used styles.row and styles.fill. So we can go ahead and update those in our style sheet as well now that we're finished coding our methods. So over here, after the container, we can also add row and we can add flex direction. And I want this to be a row. We can also add an align items center and justify content center. And I just want to add a little bit of a margin left of 10 and a margin right of, I'd say about 40. Next, we can also add in fill. So I'll add this on the next line actually, fill. And here we just want a flex of one and a margin of 15. So we can go ahead and save that since everything is updated. And now when we run this, our code should work. So if we go ahead and click on the start recording button, this is a test recording. We can go ahead and play this back. This is a test recording. And we're also able to see the duration of the recording and the recording number. If I wanted to, I could also make a second recording. This is a second test recording. And we can play this back as well. This is a second test recording. And for this, we're also able to see the duration and the recording number. If I go ahead and click this clear button, it'll clear all of our recordings. And we're able to start back up by clicking start recording. If this video helped you out, please be sure to like and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you for watching.